What are these black lines doing on a Boeing 737's wings? Are they fancy designs to make the plane go faster? I'm an aerospace engineer, and when wings contain very cold fuel, either after landing from a high altitude flight or from being refueled with cold fuel, that fuel can act like an ice pack against the wing structure, chilling the surface to freezing or below, even when the outside air temperature is above freezing, like 15 degrees Celsius. This can cause moisture from the air to form frost on both the upper and lower wing surfaces. This is known as cold soil soak fuel frost. And the amount that forms depends on things like how much cold fuel is in the tanks, the type and location of fuel tanks, time since refueling, and how long you were at high altitude. Now, while this frost typically goes away naturally during a turnaround, any remaining frost on the upper surface means you need to de-ice first as it's aerodynamically crucial. However, Boeing conducted specific wind tunnel tests on the 737NG and the MAX that demonstrated thin frost in specific areas of the upper wing is aerodynamically safe. Those specific areas are marked by the these black lines, defining the zone where up to a certain amount of frost is acceptable for takeoff. But the rules are strict. For example, the outside air temperature must be above 4 degrees Celsius and there can be no active precipitation and there are other conditions that must be met. 